New Age Tactical. So the one thing that the thistle got away with was no tip test and no batoning. So we'll start this video off with just tip and batoning. Ooh. What? I squeezed the lock. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know for a second. Oh shit. That was a bit of a bend. Oh, I pressed the button again. Did you really? Yeah. Oh no, you know what? Did you break it? Yep. The lock's broken. Oh, and shit. And look, my hand's not even near the button. Yeah, yeah. And it's not lost now. Oh, maybe it will. Feel safe. It's not doing it. That's shit. All right, guys. New Age Tactical. Back. A um, little bit different video this time. So we figure every three knives, we'll do a a final review. They've all been used um, day to day. They've been put through the torture tests. I guess we'll start with our first one. It made it through pretty much all of our beginning tests. Um, Brought it back for the tip tip test and bent the tip. You could feel it just from using it. Uh, there's definitely like burrs on the edge here. The main thing is that safety that we were complaining about. So the truth is what happened during the batoning and, and actually the tip test was every time I'd hit it, the safety would fail. And... The reason for that is because there's so much play in the blade. You can see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So because there's so much play in the blade, when you're hitting it, it's bending the blade far enough to unlock that safety. If you could see in there how the safety locks it, there's so much play that it's actually jostling it out. Yeah, and making that safety fail. I don't get to use that word much. What? Jostling. <laughs> I don't even think it's a word. <laughs> so, I guess in conclusion with this one is that that safety in there is pretty weak. You know, and I mean, I see why, because you want you don't want to make the button super hard to press, but the point being that that was pretty dangerous. We're going extreme here. Um, I did like the knife. It's not a horrible knife by any means. The pocket clip with the deep carry still, I mean, that's after you're using it for a while. I am really bummed that this didn't make it through the batoning. The grip overall was the best grip out of any one of them. It was comfortable. I enjoyed the deep pocket carry. I liked the fact that it was on this side of the knife, the underside. And with Kershaw, one thing I've always enjoyed, every knife from Kershaw that I've had, the clip is capable of being moved to the other side. Now, that being said, the thistle is would not be friendly to a left-handed person, essentially. This button, it turned out to be one of the biggest pains in the ass. But did we check if there's a left-handed version? I did not check that, actually. Yeah, we got to Google that, and we'll put a little little note at the bottom here. The button definitely got in the way on a consistent basis. The thumb stud was catching my pants, and there was a handful of times when I pulled it out that it actually was open halfway. That became very easy to do.
on top of that, the safety feature. Now this is, you know, as we had shown in the first video, to save your fingers. Problem being is that just closing this on a normal basis, it was constantly getting stuck. Now, the Craftsman, <sighs> it pisses me off that the Craftsman made it through all the tests. Cause, but it's a utility knife though. It, it, yeah, and I know that's, that's definitely tool. the reason. I mean, we're talking about just thickness of the blade alone. It was thicker than every other knife. Heavier than every other knife. Still within the price range, though. Ugly as fuck. Ugly as hell. This dual locking mechanism, like, the fact that to open it is two stages and then to close it is a completely different stage, pissed me off beyond belief because you just get in the swing of things and you try to open it real quick, you forget you have to push on that button and then open it. Oh, and this clip actually has an assist. It's like a little notch inside that the metal goes in to give it extra oomph. Didn't really work because this is what the clip looks like after two weeks of abuse. So if you're looking for durability and you don't care how it looks feels. or feels, <laughs> and you wear gloves all the time, go with this craftsman. But moving on to the, the biggest sadness is the Gerber. Now, I know this does not say anything about the Gerber brand. This is one of their lowest end knives. The closing overall was just awful. I mean, the fact that every time I need to close this, I need the two hands to do so. The opening over two weeks, and I'm talking just sitting in front of my computer, just going like this, opening and closing, it still has not gotten any easier. Using this a little rough the one day, I gave myself a blister just by holding this. So, in conclusion, you have blade play with the Kershaw, blade play with the Craftsman, no blade play with that, but that's, I don't know. That's, we picked the cheaper of the knives out on the market, all right? We use Kershaw, we use Gerber because those are two pretty well-known knife brands. And we picked the Craftsman because it was cheap, and why not? Let's give it a shot. Um, I think we kind of, when we first started doing this, we were going to be like, and the winner is, bam! But there's no real winner. The thistle felt great, looked great, cut great. It was nice and sharp. I mean, it's still holding an edge for the most part. Um, it bent. It bent on the tip test. The safety failed, okay? The Craftsman is robust. It's ugly. It's uncomfortable. It's annoying. There's blade play. Um, the safety didn't fail. This one here, it's kind of on its own level. It's like a skeletonized, uh, lightweight, EDC, light-duty knife. Um, <laughs> duty. Honestly, if I was going to buy one of these knives to carry, the Craftsman would be out of it. The Craftsman is not a carry knife. These two, you got your nice little lightweight, but uncomfortable. But I mean, you know, you got basketball shorts on. You don't want anything weighing you down. This thing's lighter. It's just uncomfortable. You know, the Thistle, it's really not that much heavier. Uh, a lot more comfortable sharper in my opinion was a nicer knife but again they're they're all on their own different levels you know i don't have a conclusion i don't think any uh, i i mean if i had to buy a knife to carry it would be the thistle yes and i agree if i was to go with anything the most normal feeling knife would be the thistle but that button would piss me off to the point of buying a new one anyway yeah so we'll bring back another three knives after this one, uh, after this video is released, guys, I can't say it enough or stress it enough. Put comments in. Let us know what you want to see. Let us know how to beat the knives up even more. I mean, we're racking our brains trying to figure out ideas to do to them. You got to do the the standard like and subscribe. Uh, <laughs> help us out. And we'll keep doing them. But New Age Tactical out.